Hello everybody, I am Omega Recon Gaming and I'm gonna be playing some Amplitude. So I did, you know, so this is a game or what our demo, whatever you can get on the PlayStation, uh, but it's a full game that you can get. Um, and it's a rhythm game. You know what? Let me just show you. Let's do quick play. All right, let's go with Phantoms because I haven't played on that yet. Shogun. So before I actually get started, let me show you the controls because they're really weird. So I would love it if, if if it could combine a control set. So you see this one here? If it, if I could place a button in the middle of the blast center here, I would love that because I like using the back buttons. Let me use the back one and the middle button because go switching up is a little bit weird because I'm using, you know, it's just weird, okay? All right, so, so all these are weird control styles. Um, but, you know, it's interesting that I just wish they would have one where it would kind of mix, you know, um, this, this one. See, it has the button in the middle and it has the two, like, higher bumper button but I want the lower ones but you know what this this one has to do all right ready the middle but the middle one always messes me up just to let you know see when you switch tracks you're it, it automatically ruins a streak and you're gonna switch like see And you're like, you're not paying attention to what's on the next line. You quickly like, just gotta go, oh, uh. Cleanse. Deploy. Nanotech boost. Okay, um. What, what, what was the cleanse? Shit. All right, come on, bring this back, baby. Energy restored. Turns up to a deafening roar. I try to escape. Fuck this line. All right, here we go. Shut. That's so hard. You gotta do it in the split second. Like, you gotta go, oh, I gotta. And this is beginner, too. That's brutal for a beginner. It's the middle button. It's always the middle button. I do like the visual design of this game though, I gotta say. I really like it and the music's good too. Energy 
Phantoms. Phantoms. I just, I just can't make it in time. Come on. I just can't. You can't do it. I, look, they give you no time. I'm pretty sure there's probably a way to do it, but Jesus Christ, you gotta move at like lightning speeds. And at that point, you're not a beginner, so. 30 sun. So yeah, so that's, you know, Amplitude. It's honestly interesting. I've definitely played rhythm games before, but um, this one's probably the most visually appealing. I mean, I played Guitar Hero, and uh, let's see, I know I played another one. Uh, what was that? The one with the... Uh, uh, it's killing me. I can't remember the name. I'll look it up later, and I'm um, just gonna be like, oh god. Um, but at least with rock, you know, Guitar Hero, you're stuck on one line. This is like you gotta go on multiple lines, manage them all, or you lose points. And when you switch, you have zero time, basically, unless you get lucky and you spawn on a lucky, uh, which, apparently I'm not lucky, but I did complete the level. So, I don't know, um, if you like rhythm games and you like a challenge, go for it. Other than that, I can't really recommend it. Um, you know. Uh, what, what would I score? Honestly? Mm, seven? I'd say seven. Solid seven. Because the weird controls, which I probably could end up getting over and then getting used to, but, you know, I would have liked to be able to choose the buttons that I put where I want them you know, for a rhythm game that I'm gonna constantly be going back and forth. I do like they have a lot of options though, so. But I feel like they have a lot of weird options, like stuff that I don't feel like people would use. So in the end, seven out of 10. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff really helps. You can also check out my Twitter and all the other bunch of stuff below. Blue. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.